Hey mamas, happy new year. Yay, you have made the decision to tackle your house for the new year. And I'm so excited because it is going to change your life. And I know you can do it because it's super easy and simple. We're gonna walk you through it. So today is day number one of the Fly Lady Baby Steps. And if you don't quite understand who the Fly Lady is or what we're talking about, I've got a video to stop by and look at that gives you like the overview. But don't get overwhelmed by it because there's a lot of little pieces to the system. We're gonna just focus on one day at a time this first 31 days so that you build up those routines. Once we've got you on the right path, I'll point you to the next step and we can get it going. So the first day is what she calls shining your sink and she has a reason behind everything. We're gonna start off with shining the sink because tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're gonna instantly feel really good about yourself that you made some progress. Now, before we get started, I did want to tell you that a lot of people fail the Fly Lady system because they don't want to take it slow and steady. They want to just power clean, completely redo the whole house in the first week, and then they get tired and they quit. And that is not what we want. Okay, I'm at the sink. So as you can see, I've got some dishes in here. And the first thing we've got to do is get those cleared out. Now, Fly Lady does not say that you have to do the dishes, but I really hate for you to start off with a stack of dishes somewhere else. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my dishes in my dishwasher, or if I don't have a dishwasher, just take a few minutes and get them washed up. This is a really, really important first step so that you don't start your week with a pile of dirty dishes. This is a lifetime change. This is routines forever, and it's gonna change everything. So it takes 28 days to really make a routine. So that's why we have 31. We've got some things in here that are simple and easy that you don't really have to think about, but it gets you in the habit of doing the same steps every single day and building them up. That way when we go into the more detailed cleaning, you won't panic and you won't run for the hills. The next thing, once we get our sink cleaned out, we need to deep clean it. So, but about a cup of bleach or a cup of vinegar, I'm gonna use vinegar just because I don't like the hassle of dealing with bleach. And, and then fill the sink up with some hot, hot water. I'm gonna let that run for just a little bit. I want you to let that sit. Another really cool thing about the baby steps is that you can jump in at any time. So if you didn't catch us on day number one, don't panic because we're just gonna jump in wherever you are. This can be your first day and just keep up with us. I'll also include in the link below a printable that will completely help you stay on track for each day so that if you do miss a video, no big deal, you'll know exactly what you're doing. So make sure you click on that, print it off, and you can check it off as we go along. Okay, so once you've got the sink soaked and it has been soaking long enough, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it out. So I'm gonna just let out the water. So normally after I rinse it all out, I use some kind of a um, scratch-free powdered type cleaner. I usually like Barkeeper's Friend, that's my favorite, but I just ran out, so I'm grabbing some backup Comet, and we're just gonna sprinkle that all around um, the whole sink, the edges, everything, because we really do wanna get that built-on grime. And don't forget to go ahead and get that faucet area. It's already looking a ton better. So one of the last steps is to go ahead and dry your sink and get all the soap spots and all the water spots out. That is like the chef's kiss is to get the sink shiny. If you have an older sink and it's still not shiny, you can throw on just a little dab of like olive oil on a paper towel and just rub that in and that's gonna really shine it up. You could also do like Windex or something like that. Okay, mamas, it looks pretty good. I went ahead and lit a candle so it's gonna smell good in here tonight and yeah i love it so this was the deep clean of the sink you are not gonna have to do this every night guys i promise so basically from tonight forward all you have to do is deal with the dishes so throw them in the dishwasher turn the dishwasher on whatever get them taken care of and then you are going to rinse this sink out just rinse all of the dirt and grime off and then take a paper towel or a, your daily towel and just wipe it down so that it's clean and dry and that's it. So I've also done one more thing for us. I've created a Facebook group just for us 
so that we can communicate. So all of you new fly babies, that's what Fly Lady calls you when you start her program. I hate it, but we're gonna roll with it. I've got a YouTube group for you. I'll put the link in the description. You can go over there. When you get that sink shiny, I want you to snap a picture of your sink or the check mark on your printable and then go over there, join the group, post it. We're gonna kind of congratulate each other, lift each other, motivate each other, because you and I both know it is really hard to start something new, especially when we've got all of those New Year's resolutions. We're gonna lose weight, we're gonna work out, we're gonna get the house clean, we're gonna get organized. I mean, it's too much. So I encourage you to run over there because the best way to succeed is to make a friend and to do this as a partner system instead of trying to do it all alone. So the group is called Today's Fly Babies and I am gonna be over there every day just kind of cheering you on, so let's chat. So mamas, if you know somebody that is wanting to get their house in order for the new year, if you know anybody, I would really appreciate if you would share this video with them because I think that it is so important to take control of your house and it's going to change the way you raise your kids. It is going to change the way that you feel about your home. I had no idea. So mamas, if you know somebody else that's in the trenches, that's struggling to get it all done and just needs a boost, share this because I'm going to be here every step of the way to help you. So remember, you are going to print that printable off and check off Shine the Sink for day one. And every night when you get ready to go to bed, make sure you're checking off your to-do list there so that you know that you're on track and you're making progress. Progress, not perfection, is all that we're working on right now. Now, if you are an overachiever, if you're wanting to jump ahead, I really don't think you should, but if you're going to, I'm going to link a video next that will kind of cut through some of the fluff of the baby steps and give you the core cleaning parts. I think you should do all of it. But if I would rather you do just the important parts, if you're not gonna do the whole thing, try that and see if you can stick with that. Anyways, I love y'all and I will see you tomorrow and we will get going on day two.